Okay, do it again. Hello and welcome to the Training Journal for February 13th, 2019. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean, and let's get into it. Like the good CrossFitter that I am, I did the warm up, and the warm up burns. Four rounds, 15 push ups, 15 empty bar thrusters, and then 15 shoulder taps. I don't actually really know what a shoulder tap is, but what I assumed it was was going upside down against the wall and then like, you know, tapping your shoulder, doing that movement and that motion. Um, I'm not good enough for that yet, so I just kind of did 15 shoulder or 15 waddles, upside down waddles, if you will. The next part of the workout was my favorite one of the day. It was our, our, our ollie lift kind of workout and it was the clean, but it had 12 reps at 75%, it had eight reps at 80%, and then had four reps at 85%. So those numbers for me ended up being 190 pounds, 205 pounds, and 215 pounds. The next workout was a Metcon, simple Metcon, 50 calories on the rower, 100 kettlebell swings at 53, 35, and then 50 calories on the rower, um, 40 calories for girls. And that one burned. I knew it would burn. I was kind of slow at it. Calories at the beginning were fine. The rower was fine. By, you know, halfway through the kettlebell swings, I start realizing my grip's gone. I don't have any grip. By the end of the, cal by the end of the kettlebell swings, it was, yeah, this is definitely confirmed. I don't have any grip. I'm, this is going to suck. And those last 50 calories, I was maybe pulling 900 on the rower for a good section of it. And I was trying. I was trying to pull more, but my grip was just gone. I ended around pulling around 13, you know, 11, but for most of it, it ended up being like 900. And it was just get through the calories, get them much faster. It was just terrible. workout for the day was interval work. It was four rounds for four minutes, 750 meter ski and max kipping handstand push-ups after you get that. One of the ski ergs was being used. I was working out with some friends. So we ended up switching between the ski erg and the assault bike. For the assault bike, we just did three minutes on the assault bike and then went into the max handstand push-ups. There were some sets of the handstand push-ups that felt really good. There were some that felt terrible. I'm still, I guess I'm still trying to figure out like where do I go on the wall? Where do I put my hands? Like how far distance from the wall? I'm still doing all that. And the best way to do it is to do it more, which I don't, which is my problem.
good training session. Just got the work in, even though I wasn't feeling super motivated. I've been kind of sick for the last two weeks, which is super frustrating, super congested, low on energy. But I got it all done, got it all in, no excuses. That feels good. And that was it. I mean, a really simple day. I will say this, I was testing a new lens. It's not a new lens, I was just using a different lens, the same lens I'm using right now, and I wanted to try to do less of a wide angle and more cropped in shots. Problem is, I wasn't super familiar with what that crop is gonna look like, so I cut myself off on multiple frames and in multiple things, so whatever. You live and you learn, you post a video and you move on. I'm um, just trying to experiment, trying to get better, trying to experiment with different lenses and different angles and different crops and whatever. So there are some shots that are just like, why did he do that? I'm just trying to figure it out. You know, you you try to film your workouts while you're working out and try to get artistic and creative and it just doesn't work, okay? I'm trying, I'm getting there, but it's a struggle. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and until next time, peace!